Welcome to today's video where we're going to do some DIY furts with Miss Kitty. First off, we have our empty furt bottles, two for upstairs and two for downstairs. However, this was back in our house in Indiana, so now we just have one pair of bottles. So one for the micros and one for the macros. As you're rinsing these out, you want to try to avoid using any type of harsh chemicals. Any of that could always be left behind. So just try to use as hot of water as you can stand and make sure that you're rinsing them and not having any of the old fertilizer left behind. And I'll take you guys through each of the micros and the macros. I'm not going to make you watch me do two of each, so bear with me. And each of these bottles is 1,000 milliliters, so you'll need to adjust accordingly when it comes to the recipes that we use. And first up is going to be the micros. So we are going to do the iron, and for our bottles we're going to do 60 grams weighed out. Nice that I've always got company. doing? I'm, I'm here to tell you something. What would you like to tell me? Uh, I want a fudge cookie. I heard you. Uh, and I said I'll get you one with a pb and J. I'm just going to finish weighing this out. Uh, can I help? And another thing we do to try and keep contamination at its low is we have a dedicated pot, dedicated spoon, dedicated funnel that is only used for furts. So if it's within your means, it's a great suggestion. Any chunks left behind could get stuck in the nozzle of your bottles and then you'll be fighting it every single time you're dosing. So want to make sure it's dissolved. Now you know your bottles best, but I like to go until it's hand warm before I go ahead and funnel it on into the bottle. And based upon evaporation and the fact that I eyeball how much I put into the pan in the first place, you've got to top it off. But again, just make sure you're using RO water and filling it up to make sure that you're not over or under um, concentrating your liquids. Okay, good day. Time to move on to the macros. So zero in your scale, on some scales it's TARE, T-A-R-E, um, but here we go. First one up, potassium nitrate. My little helper. Now with our tray that came with our scale, it doesn't hold a whole lot. I'm sure there's plenty of other things that you could select or use, um, but I've just been pouring in two at a time. So with all of these lighter colored, um, they're all going into the same bottle. So they are all going to be mixed together, the macros, in one used to be boiling pot of water. And topping off the second bottle is going to conclude how LRB feeds his plants. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. I've got some new houseplants and new propagation methods.